Come on on. Come on in, Aquarius. Come on. Y'all, come on in. Come on in. I already can feel you guys' energy. And I was just sitting here shuffling, asking Spirit to give me some insight. And the card jumped out. Let's talk about this, Aquarius. Y'all, come on in. Hit the like button. Spam that like button. And that's what the younger, the younger crowd say. <laughs> Spam that like button. Y'all make sure that y'all subscribe. And don't forget to check out my merchandise, okay? It's below the below the um the video. And check the description box if you want to book your own reading, right? Okay, so <laughs> The card that jumped out is the answer is no. Flat out, the answer is no. So y'all saying no to somebody about something. The answer is no. It's no. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's going on for the month of July for my Aquarius. Aquarius, what messages do you have for Aquarius? What messages do you have for Aquarius for the month of July? For Aquarius. Aquarius. What message? See, we got separation here. And we got abandoned at the bottom of the deck. And we got family. You guys are worried. Here we got grief. And someone here could also be playing the victim, okay? There's a victim here. What is this, Aquarius? This could very much so have something to do with family, okay? Somebody is abandoned. You abandoned someone or someone abandoned you or you feel someone's trying to play the victim, and try to make it seem like they were abandoned, okay? And somebody is causing the family grief. There's a separation here, okay? You decided to separate yourself. And here we go again. Didn't I tell y'all? Didn't I tell y'all? The answer is no. No. Whatever, if somebody asks you or whatever, the answer is flat out no. And that's going to be the title of this video because it came out twice. So it wanted to reveal itself. Okay. So we got admired here. Okay. We got action. We got pride and ego. Somebody's pride and ego is most definitely in the way. Okay. Somebody's too high up on their horse um, to figure out what action they need to take. I feel like you guys may be releasing someone or releasing this situation, okay? And from here on out, you got your guard up. This just woke you up. This just woke you up, okay? This situation just woke you up. We got devotion. Somebody is extremely devoted. You could be extremely de devoted to your material and what you have going on, your finances, okay? That could be where your main priority and focus is. You're trying to focus on your money, your bag, okay? Somebody here needs to surrender, and you possibly want this person to look at them, look at their self worth, look at how they care themselves, look at what they have to offer. You may be looking at this person from a material point of view. Um, what do you have? Look at look at how you carry yourself. Look at what you have. Look at what from a very much so material standpoint of view. For some of you, this could be involving a child. Okay, we got inner child. This has been coming out quite a few today. For some of you, this could be involving a child. A child could be involved. Or someone is behaving very childlike. 
Okay, but I do want to see why separation is here. Oh, okay. Crossroad, okay. You had to make a decision on whether or not to separate yourself. Maybe you feel like this person isn't growing, so you had to separate yourself from the situation because I got destruction here. Okay. I feel like you don't see a change in this person. So I got reinvention. It was in the reverse. Okay. You don't see a change in this person, so you had to separate yourself. The answer is no. The answer is no. But then look, we got the answer is yes. Okay, so we're looking at the answer is yes at divine masculine. Okay, so there's a male that is involved in this situation. Okay, there is a male that someone's painting this picture. Okay, someone's, we got muse. Someone's trying to paint a picture of someone. Okay, we got settling and free will and stuck and guide. Somebody here lost patience because I'm feeling like somebody here is misguided and somebody here is stuck. They don't understand that they have the free will to do something and you may feel like this person is settling, okay? This could be coming from a male, a male, a man that's in your life, okay? Give me one more card, why is devotion here? Why is devotion here? Why is devotion here? We got grief. This situation is causing you a lot of grief because someone is, does just does not, I feel like unawakened. This is just saying that someone is asleep. Like someone does is, is not aware of the grief or pain that they've caused. Okay. I'm getting that you possibly have been observing this person possibly from a distance. And I feel like we got forgiveness. It's in the reverse. Somebody doesn't want to give an apology. But I feel like you want a fresh start in this situation. Or you want this person to start fresh. I feel like you could feel with shadow work here. You could feel like this person does need to work on themselves, okay? This person is has a like dark energy um, surrounded around them, and you possibly do feel like that this person's focus is not where it should be because we got refocus. It's in the reverse, okay? You want this person to take a new direction, okay? And maybe you've been trying to communicate this to this person for the longest because I got nostalgia here. But it looks like this is a cycle, okay? A cycle. And then we got bound. This is the double card, a negative cycle. Like, this is a very toxic cycle, okay? This is what you have observed. Now you're looking at what action needs to be taken. So you guys are being very well stern in which... Uh, you're an air sign, so you're you're based off of truth and thought, things that are well thought out. So this is deep. This is something that is deep. And this could be energy from <laughs> Mercury retrograde. Because it seems like to me like communication. Um, you had to communicate this to someone. Okay. Let me go back to this because this is what I want to remember about this reading because it came out twice. So it was very significant. The answer is no. And I want to leave this right here.
what message do you have for Aquarius? I want to see this for the month of July. What message do you have for Aquarius? Do you have for Aquarius for July, please? I'm mean, here to a few more shuffles. Thank you. All right. So at the bottom of the deck, you're refraining from saying, from communicating very immaturely. Okay. You're trying to refrain from doing it. We got the full reverse, which is being hesitant. Page of Swords, you may have saw something and you want to you want to respond, okay? You want to respond, but you're hesitant, okay? You're hesitating. Six of Wands, Reverse, Ace of Pentacles, Four of Swords, Reverse, Knight of Pentacles, Reverse, Two of Cups, and the Five of Cups. I'm getting, I'm, I got Emperor and the Empress here. For some of you, this is a baby mother, baby father thing. This is a family dynamic with someone's mother and someone's father. Something to that nature. I'm getting that as well. The Empress reverse as the outcome. Come on. Why is the Six of Wands here reverse? Why is the Six of Wands reverse? You feel like, okay. You feel like this, you feel as if there is n no plans. You feel like this person has no plans. No, they aren't thinking ahead. And then you feel like they're dragging their feet. They don't have a plan for success here. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Queen of Swords. This is you guys' this energy. All right. See, look, we got something that happened out of the blue. Something blew up out of the blue. Okay. So, oh, gosh. Ten of Cups reverse. This is an unhappy family. Okay. Page of Cups reverse. King of Swords. This is you guys' this energy. Something out of the blue happened. Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here? The Sun. Okay. I'm getting a new idea. Ace of Wands. It's a new idea. It's like you you telling this person you need to come up with something new. You need a, a new something. Okay, why is the Four of Swords reverse? You want this person to wake up. Why is the Four of Swords reverse here? You feel like this person been sleeping too long or they lazy. Want the Death card here. Ooh. Death and the Four of Swords. I'm not even going to, I don't even want to speak what that sounds like to me. Hmm. 
This is really harsh energy, guys. I'm not even gonna lie. This is real, real harsh. Like you, you, you feel strong about this. You feel strong about this. You, you, you feel real strong about this. So I got the devil and the knight of wands. This is like, stop playing. Stop playing with me. You're not moving forward. There's no progress. And they're confused or you feel like the, you, you're confused about this. Okay. Why is there no progress being made? Okay. Ten of Pentacles reverse. Okay. So there's lack of resources or money. Okay. So you feel like this person need to come up with a better idea. They need a better idea. They need something else. Okay. Because what you're doing ain't working. Why is the Knight of Pentacles reverse here? This is Capricorn's energy. Knight of Swords. I'm getting young energy. This could be children, okay? This could very much so be children. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, okay? So maybe you were waiting for, for, for this to end or waiting for something to end. Okay, because I got the Ten of Swords here as well. Why is the Two of Cups here? Why is the Two of Cups here in the reverse? I'm sorry, it's not in reverse. Okay, the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups. Okay. Oh, gosh, the Four of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. There is constant disagreements about how somebody feels about someone's relationship here four of pentacles and the five of wands okay somebody's holding a grudge okay somebody's holding a grudge about a relationship we got the five of cups going ahead in the near future this is regrets or feeling sorry for someone okay yeah we got the hermit card okay could be a virgo um, you feel like this person needs to go heal, okay? With three of swords, you you could be looking at the situation, you know, feeling regretful, or some of you are feeling like, you know, I feel bad for you, but I'm gonna have to distance myself with this hermit card. Why is the hermit here? We got the fool. I don't know which way it came out. It flew in my lap, okay? You feel like, look, they got they got a decision that they need to make, okay? They got to clear up their energy, okay? We got the, you as the magician, okay? So you're you're manifesting here. How's the magician here? Mm -hmm. I'm getting, stop making it seem like I just threw you out with the five of pentacles here. Why is the five of pentacles here? Mm-hmm. Nine of wands and the three of cups. Okay. They've been you done got the tea. You've been hearing from friends or somebody. Or you've heard that this person is like drinking or partying or just having a blast having fun maybe you saw them on see, seen this on pictures but you just feel like this person just do, having a little too much fun and they, they ain't got they they not together okay how they view you they view you as the emperor you're controlling um you're very on your high horse Why is the Seven of Cups here? Page of Swords. They feel like you're immature. And they want you to tell the truth. Okay, family could be involved. Like, no, tell everybody the truth. Tell, tell the truth. King of Wands, reverse. For hopes and fears. Could be dealing with the Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. You're waiting on this person to take action. You've been waiting for the longest for them to take action, but you feel like they ain't doing nothing. Nothing's moving forward, okay? 
And I feel like somebody, I feel like somebody hurt somebody's feelings here. And I feel like just at this moment, I feel like in the future, you're going to you're look back at it and feel kind of bad that this had to transpire like this. But at this moment, this is exactly how you feel about it. Like, and, and I'm, and it's very strong energy. I got the Empress reverse. I don't like the Empress when she in reverse. This is Libra and Taurus's energy. We got the Two of Pentacles and the Tower. Five of Swords. This is somebody who keeps drama going. Okay. Like, there's drama. Okay. There's drama. And there could be two two people, two, two females involved. Because I got the Empress and the Two of Pentacles. There could be two people involved. Someone is jealous. Someone is upset and angry. Why is the Five of Swords here? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Mm, yeah, see, we got the temperance reversed. Like, is this situation going to be resolved or are you guys going to move on from this? Okay, because I'm getting, there could be someone could have a an addiction, possibly like they smoke too much or they or on some type of drug or they drink too much, something in that nature. I feel like you just want this person to stop. Okay, you just want this person to stop. You feel like it's not beneficial to them and it's not getting them anywhere. Now, keep in mind, this could be vice versa. This could be somebody's energy towards you, but I strongly feel like this is you guys' energy. So you could feel like this way about towards someone. Okay, let's see what the angels got to say. And I'm going to let you guys slide out. We got opportunity. We got recover. We got listen to your intuition. We got yes. We got within the next few months. And communicate clearly. Some of you guys are getting ready to get some more information or you got some more information possibly about a opportunity in regards to abundance. Okay, so I'm getting that there's an opportunity getting ready to present itself within the next few months. Uh, opportunity is getting ready to present itself. Okay, I feel like there's this opportunity is going to help this situation, help you recover from this situation. But a lot of y'all just need to listen to your intuition. Listen to your intuition. If your intuition is telling you yes, then go with it. But you need to communicate clearly to this person exactly how you feel. Um, we know that you guys, y'all are air signs, so a lot of times y'all words come out as sharp, okay? Everybody don't know how to take it, but that's their problem if they don't understand how to take it, okay? All right, so I hope this reading was helpful for you guys. If it was, if it resonated, make sure you leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Book for a personal reading if you're looking for a personal reader. And don't forget to check out my merchandise below, all right? Ciao for now.